So, I want to talk uh, for two minutes about uh, the novel Finn and its representation of whiteness, but also what in Pat Finn becomes translated into a desire for the black female body and what is driving that, if not even desire, a compulsion and the need to understand and even represent what that desire has done to him, how it's twisted him. Uh, obviously his own father, the judge, has made blackness itself off limits. Won't even bring in a black servant into his own household. Um, Finn is punished for his desires that seek to, I think, transgress his own father, to carve it out an identity that is somehow going against the, the law of the father. Uh, and the rule of the judge. Um, but of course that desire for the black female body is, is countered by a fear of the black male body and a, and a need to annihilate that black male body, which we see in the murder of the, the, the son and the father of the, the, laundry, the laundress. Um, so what I would ask you to think about in terms of the representation then of, of Huck Finn as a character is it very much in line with Quain's character, a character who sees beyond race, who loves his mother and his father equally, um, and that is eventually retrained to believe that the black mother was a myth for him, but it, it shows us why he could continue to embrace the love of essentially a black father in Jim. And I am standing here. These are the Sibilini Mountains uh, in the Val Marina. Uh, we driving back from the beach on our way back to, to our little town. And um, the password for this mini lecture is Sibyl. <laughs>